The Queen was seen struggling to walk today during her first in-person engagement of the year at Windsor Castle, admitting to guests I can't move. The Queen appeared in high spirits as she admitted her health woes, the day after it was revealed Prince Andrew and Virginia Dufry reached an out-of-court settlement. Clutching a walking stick, she met the incoming Defence Services Secretary Major General Eldon Miller and his predecessor Rear Admiral James MacLeod. As she attempted to shuffle across the room, she said, Oh, I am here, chuckling as the two secretaries entered her room. When asked how she was, the Queen responded, Well, as you can see, I can't move. She gestured at her feet before shuffling forward slightly and greeting the pair with a handshake. The sovereign beamed in a colorful dress featuring a geometric pattern as she welcomed her guests in the oak room at her Berkshire residence. Her Majesty accessorized her outfit with her iconic pearl earrings and necklace and a diamond brooch. Pictures from the engagement show she used a light walking stick to move around the room. The Queen was first spotted using a light walking stick in October when she attended a service at Westminster Abbey alongside her daughter Princess Anne. A royal source said at the time the monarch was using the stick for comfort rather than for any specific ailment. Today's meeting, which had been in the diary before the announcement regarding Andrew's lawsuit was made, was particularly important for the Sovereign, as the Defence Services Secretary is the official link between the Queen and the Secretary of State for Defence and the Chiefs of Staff on all matters concerning the monarch's relationship with the armed forces, of which she is the head. The Defence Services Secretary is on a three-year rotation. Rear Admiral MacLeod was appointed in 2019 and, amid taking on the new role, had held a meeting with the Queen much like today, alongside the outgoing Secretary Air Vice Marshal Gary Tunnicliffe. This latest audience came after it emerged Prince Andrew and Miss Dufry, who had launched a lawsuit against the Duke of York in August last year, reached a settlement in principle. According to documents jointly submitted by Andrew and Ms. Dufry's lawyers to the U.S. District Court, the Duke will make a substantial donation to Ms. Dufry's charity in support of victims' rights. The papers also briefly mention the terms of the agreement between Andrew and Ms. Dufry, adding the sum he is to fork out won't be disclosed. Prince Andrew, who firmly denies any wrongdoing regarding Ms. Dufry's allegations against him, also said to regret his association with late convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. The document read, Prince Andrew regrets his association with Epstein, and commends the bravery of Ms. Dufry and other survivors in standing up for themselves and others. He pledges to demonstrate his regret for his association with Epstein by supporting the fight against the evils of sex trafficking, and by supporting its victims. Today's engagement by the Queen also was her first in-person audience since she marked the historic 70th anniversary of her accession day on February 6. On the day before, the monarch had hosted a reception at Sandringham House for local charities and fellow members of the Norfolk branch of the Women's Institute. This in-person audience at Windsor Castle also dismissed fears the monarch may have caught Covid from her son Prince Charles. The Prince of Wales tested positive for coronavirus on Thursday, Clarence House announced, the second time since the beginning of the pandemic. On Monday, the palace stated Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, also tested positive for Covid-19, further raising concern for the Queen's health. A royal source said late last week the Queen's health was being monitored and she was not showing signs of an infection. However, the palace refused to say whether she had tested for the virus, citing privacy. The audience marked the third royal engagement carried out by the Queen this week, as on Tuesday she held audiences via video links with two incoming foreign ambassadors. The Sovereign delighted royal watchers with her latest public appearance, with many taking to Twitter to hail her resilience and dedication to her work. Twitter user Judith Ince wrote, So lovely to see Her Majesty looking well. Another, for Wad, tweeted, The Queen looking well. Rosie Lee added, Always working, always loyal, always smiling and we never have to look for a smile. 70 glorious years.